How to create a user on IPEX Cloud. To create a user on the IPEX Cloud, first go to User then User Setup. You can now see the list of users already created. Click on Add to add a new user. In the extension field, enter the extension number. If you're using a numbering plan, this number will be automatically populated. To change it, click on the magnifying glass. If you're not using a numbering plan, you can enter manually an unused number. Then give it a name and choose the site this extension will be linked to. After this, you will need to choose if the user will be a single or multi-site group user. If you are set to a single site, then you will only be able to be added to the groups that are set to your current site. If you are set to a multi-site user, then you'll be able to be a member of a group regardless of the site that is linked to the group. Then enter portal ID and password. We recommend using the extension number as it's a memorable. Once you create this user, you cannot change the portal ID. The user will use the portal ID and domain and the password to log into the user portal and to log into the UCE app if needed. You can enter your email here that is used if you have voicemail to email. Next package. This is the user's license and if you do not have any, please contact your administrator. Under user type, you can select if it will be a single or multi-client. The question mark will tell you which devices can be a multi-client, like a ELG phone and a soft client. If you only need one device, set it as a single client. You can set a direct caller number here to point that DDI to this user, or leave it as a none and control the DDIs in the DDI summary part, which is recommended. Next, call barring. You can set as the site call barring and it will follow the site settings or individual call barring that you can choose from any call barring rule. Under outgoing caller ID, you can select the CLI that this station will be sending. It can follow the company outgoing CLI, the site outgoing CLI, or it can follow the direct call number field if you select individual direct dial caller number. And if you choose select caller ID, you can pick any CLI in the system. Leave trunk authorization as not used and in call fraud option, you can set it as the default call fraud limit for this company or select an individual call fraud and amend the call fraud limit. Next, device. Select the device this user will use, either phone, which will give you the list ELG phones and the MAC addresses available. You can change the phone codec, add a flexible profile, or add a DSS or a LSS console. Or you can set a soft client, you can choose the soft client desired in the drop-down. Virtual user. You can set this extension as a virtual user or hot desk user. They will use this extension password set here. Also, you can add a third-party SIP device. The authentication ID and password set here will be needed to configure the phone settings. Next, features. Here, you can allow and deny many features. You can allow or deny anonymous calls, present external caller ID on LCD display, and restrict your CLI. You can also allow or deny permission to a user to change the time mode, setting the system, or site to day, night, and timed mode. Set enable voicemail. You need it to set to use, and a password needs to be entered here. You can enable voicemail to email and send it text only or attach the voice file to it. Next, click on the plus icon to add an additional feature. A window with a list of additional feature licenses that your system has will be shown. To select it, click on the tick box then click select. Under service, you can select what will happen if you ring to this station when it is in a busy state. The options are to provide a busy tone, camp on to the user, or call wait on the user. Next, under information you can enter additional information to this user. In DN-based CID routing, you can add a specific number that when this user receives a call from that number, 
will be automatically forwarded to the destination set here under Forward Destination. The following options can only be set after you create this user. They are a shortcut to the same settings you can configure under User Phone Configuration and User Feature Configuration. Click on Save your new user.